First of all, it was it was great to to get back in the in the weight room this off season and have a full off season. You know, we knew going into it, um, losing a bunch of uh, big time players uh, from last year's senior class, that we were going to have a lot of new faces that were going to need to step up, and um, we liked. Uh, the progress that we saw through the off season, through spring practice and into the summer. Um, we thought we had a, uh, had a good football team on our hands. Um, we knew we still had a, had a long way to go, um, but we were excited to uh, you know, get the season going and, and, and see these guys develop. This ain't for the money, this is for the love. This is sweating through my shirt before the sun's up. Thought that I was sure. Thought that I would stop, but now I got him waiting for the other shoe to drop. Oh, I'm a flame burning bold in a world that's so cold. And I'm just getting started. I've been making moves before the dawn, cutting through the darkness. Can't nobody say I don't belong. I'll be the first one. With beginner's luck If I fall first Then lift me up Never call curtains Common courtesy Curiosity It killed a kitty But it got to work for me And it readily I manifested something great But it's still don't determine The fate of maternal tables From the cradle to the grave Heavy weight Leg day Steady pray Heavy head Wears crown Way down Every day Hair now Make a way Clear foul lane Change breaking out The crazy house So whatever them people Were saying about me Hit the lever You not do my level The engine is revving I'm ready I'm ready I swear you gon' care about me I'm just getting started That was South Oldham. Uh, I knew that was going to be an interesting test. Um, our team is not the biggest uh, or the fastest or the strongest, but uh, our guys executed at a high level. We were going up against uh, a very big uh, football team with a lot of uh, history of um, you know, successful seasons. And just interested to see how our guys would respond. And they, they rose to the challenge. Uh, they came out from play one. and. Uh, and got after it, and it wasn't pretty. But you could see, you know, you could see the spark of what was going to be a team that was going to be special as the season went along. Definitely a different level of uh, preparation for that week. Coming out to play the team that wears brown and orange, it's I mean, it's nothing like it. And just being around this program for four years and seeing all how our seniors coming before me have prepared for it, just pushed me to go even harder and pushed me to push the team to go even harder just to get that hatred, just that it's the hate, but it's the passion that comes for the game too, that you just want to win that game so bad. For the game, it was, uh, it's really quiet. Everyone's kind of just focused on the game. So when we went on the field to warm up, and there's no talking. We're all just kind of zoned in and ready to play. Yeah, I can say I was just really like nervous during that game, and but I was ready. And just like when he's on, because he said that I was, it was just super quiet, and just, it was everybody was just focused on the game and wanted to win. Academy 7 to say 
Hand up. The sales cow is, is always a huge game, and last year, because of COVID, you know, we weren't able to play them in the regular season. We were able to play them in the playoffs um, and just barely squeak by with a win. Um, you know, in that game, anything can happen. Um, you know, regardless of schedule or um, you know perceived advantage, uh, you just kind of throw all that out the window. Um, our guys did a phenomenal job all week preparing and they came out and executed at a high level and really put a statement, um, put their statement on that football game with a huge win and a running clock in the first half. Yeah, Henry County. It was it was nice uh, take care of business in the uh, in the regular season and, and be the number one seed in our district. Um, you know, the Henry County regular season game would probably be one of our uh, worst games of the year, is from an execution standpoint. So really challenged our guys all week to come out and 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 execute at a high level. We needed a, you know a strong outing. We knew we were going to win, but we wanted to take care of business, and that's exactly what our team did.
Bitches, I'm not the guy that'll flee the scene. I'll take ownership and own it and raise my hand if it's me. Just remember, though, I'm only a man. I'm a human being. Don't they see? Shoot the breeze. I'd rather just stay discreet. People claim they're in your corner but leave you in times of need. They don't listen, do they? They don't listen to anything. I'll accept advice if it's not presented ignorantly. Look, cost to hide and multiply. They cost to buy to force to fight the poison I've been sipping on. It's quite the to kill me twice to bring the light to your conceit. The parts of mine that aren't too bright. You often I apologize and authorize the awful times to pop up. Like I'm right behind you. I'd advise you not to try to climb inside the mind. Like I do keep the rhyme book expedited, overnighted, hold it tight and hope the time is on my side. Cause if it's not, then I'll decide to override my own demise. I told the line to close and I could improvise. I'd empathize but recognize the fact that I could jeopardize and record lies. You better give me your attention and undivide my dose. Made it through. Big time uh, game playing against Mercer County at home for the district championship. That game has become a huge rivalry. Uh, we were able to get the better of Mercer in the regular season, but um, you know, Mercer's always well coached. They've always got athletes, uh, had a phenomenal run game. They do some things that can, can cause you issues on the defensive side of the ball. So uh, we knew that that game was going to be was going to be a dogfight, and it was for a full half. And I was very proud of our guys at halftime. We were able to make some adjustments. They didn't blink, um, which is once again just a testament to their maturity and how this young team grew throughout the season and were able to come out and uh, really have a phenomenal uh, second half and, and in the game with a running clock and a district championship. Awesome. Well, it's always fun to play Mercer County. Um, they're, a, they're a good team. They're, they had like some fifth-year seniors this year, which was just fun to play against them again. But it's a good game to be around. It's a good game to watch, a good game to play in. Um, it's always – it's never going to be – uh, I don't think it's ever going to be a blowout just because both teams are usually pretty good. And Mercer County is a good team. You know, we both both teams have really good players. They got some good running backs. We kind of just outnumbered them in talent this year. And I think over the years it's going to grow into a, like just another sales.
trying to keep me out. I'm already in. So don't fall asleep. Going into the Paducah Tillman game, uh, you know, very excited. We knew that this was, uh, you know, Christian Academy. Uh, we were one of the top teams in the state. We also knew that we were going to face a very big, fast, talented football team. If things didn't go the way that that we wanted to that night, um, but I was proud of our guys. You know, there were a lot of opportunities throughout that game for uh, us to get down and, and hang our heads and and, and, and give up. Um, but our guys kept fighting, uh, kept pushing forward. Our, that small senior class that we talked about kept leading um, both on the field and on the sidelines and really kept our hearts and minds in the game. And unfortunately, it uh, didn't end the way that we would have liked, but um, we definitely had chances there at the end. And that just is a huge um, testament to the, the culture of our team and our guys' uh, hearts and love for each other and, and, and love for this program. First off, you know, I'd like to thank uh, our coaches. Um, cannot do this without them. Um, I felt like you know, a lot of times this season we, we were just a better coach football team. Uh, we were able to come in and execute at a high level, um, get running clocks on, on teams that, that, you know, maybe had more size, maybe had, had, had more speed, maybe had more skill. But um, our coaches do such a phenomenal job. Our players, um, implicitly trust their coaches and that that's a testament to the relationships that they built throughout the season and it's it's just such a beautiful thing to see our, our coaches work with our guys and our guys respond to that and go out and play at a high level so 
Um, you know, without our assistants, without our coaching staff, um, none of this would be possible. Uh, they do it because they love the game, they love Jesus, and they want to pour into these, these young men. Um, they don't do it for the money. A lot of these guys uh, volunteer. Um, but I can confidently say we're an elite program because of our assistant coaches. Well, our coaching staff is probably the best team, best coaching staff in the state by far. We got NFL players, we got college players on there. Coach Cantwell, great football mind. He always knows what's going to get us fired up. He knows what plays to run, and it's always exciting when he comes in for on Monday with the installs for the new plays. I think having Coach Jones around is a lot of fun. He's very wise, been around the game a long time, knows what he's doing. Coach Riley is a great schemer on defense. He knows how to get us ready and he knows how to get us going. So, When I think about our coaches, uh, I first think about what he said. I think we have, what, seven coaches that played in the NFL. I mean, that's something that just most teams don't get and that we were fortunate, fortunate enough to have. And um, Coach Cantwell, what a great guy. I mean, nobody I'd rather play under. Um, when I first came here and it was COVID, he was getting on Zoom with me and uh, helping me know my plays and all that stuff. Um, Coach Hilliard also um, welcoming me with open arms. Um, Coach Riley has a crazy passion for this game. Um, just a coach you'll run through a brick wall for. Uh, coach Jones, my guy. Um, kind of started out as a love-hate relationship, never played defense before. He wanted me to. I was kind of in denial at first, but um, he got me to love it, and I'm so glad I was open to it. Um, Coach Tobridge um, helping me out with some college stuff. Um, you know, it's just a great staff. Uh, yeah, Coach Tobridge, uh, he always put a smile on my face whenever I'd see him in practice. And uh, Coach Riley, he's a really smart even to coach, so. Um, I'd like to thank Coach Holba. He, like, got me where I am today and uh, he to fix multiple things uh, with me from kicking. And also Coach Hilliard and just giving me a chance to kick for the football team after the kicking for, like, Chick-fil-A. I'd like to thank Coach Hilliard for always pushing us and always believing in me, um, even through my injuries. Uh, sophomore and junior year. Um, I want to thank Coach Cantwell for having our backs and um, just coaching us and being a great coach to us and a mentor. And Coach Hatfield for always having our backs and always pushing me and talking to me before the games and telling me stuff like that. And um, I also just want to thank my parents and my dad for coaching me in middle school and elementary and always having my back and pushing me through everything and my mom for taking me when I couldn't drive to workouts, to practice, to winter lifts, spring lifts, spring practice, taking me home from stuff, um, pushing me, by, uh, paying for these special workouts to get better and stuff. And I want to thank her and my family for coming to all my games and yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank Hilliard for always being there for me since freshman year. And uh, Coach Riley and Coach Jones for never giving up on me even though uh, Messed up quite a bit the past two years. They never gave up on me, and I always went out there and gave them all. Yeah, I also want to thank our, our parents, our families that uh, you know really rally around our program, not just during the season, but also uh, year round. Uh, there's so much that goes into making a season happen. Um, you're, you're feeding a small army week in and week out. You know, transportation, equipment, um, you know, getting equipment, you know, to and from. You know, our locker room to the sidelines, to and from uh, our, our campus to, to an opponent. Um, there's, you know, there's home chains, there's hospitality bags, there's people involved with filming, there's people working concessions, so we, our program can continue to benefit from those proceeds financially. And in so many other areas, laundry, et cetera, um, just could not do that uh, without the help of our parents and our family and our Cal football community. Those things allow myself and our staff to focus on football and to really give 110% to, uh, to these kids. Um, and that would not be possible without the sacrifice. Well, I think my dad for, I was young, so my dad always drove me to practice, had to drive me all the way through junior year. So I'll thank him for driving me here all the way since second grade to football practice. And 
he's just really made sure that I was ready to go, made sure that I was ready for the game, that I needed everything I had. So I want to thank him and the students for sure and just thank the whole coaching staff as a whole. They were really out there just making sure that we had our best and then we gave our best and then we were ready to go. Yeah, I want to thank my parents first. Um, I wouldn't have this opportunity to play here if it wasn't for them. So um, thank you guys. I want to thank uh, the coaches um, for first welcoming me here um, and then just building with me um, and helping me become the player I am today. Um, thank the fans, all the other families that came out to support uh, me and the team. And um, My parents, obviously, they drew me to practice when I could and all that fun stuff. They always believed to me. And my brother, because uh, he only scored one touchdown and that motivated me to get more points than him. And that was my goal the whole season. So. I like to thank my parents because they were always there for me when I needed them and they supported me through everything. And also I can thank my like, student section for always coming out and supporting no matter what. Yeah, the student fan base was great. I mean, um, they always came out to every game. Some of them went to the away games, which is cool, but yeah, we always had a great environment around us during the season and Every home game there was a theme, everyone always dressed up and had a great vibe for the game. Everyone was cheering for us and all the, stand, um, the fans really helped us. Yeah, they uh, pushed us to win and kept cheering for us no matter what was going on in the game. So, yeah. I'd like to thank my parents, my friends and family, and um, all my uh, teammates for pushing us to get better every day. 